sun comes back when the first quail calls. The theme of this uh, project, we call the album Jericho Road, is about compassion and doing the right thing. I did not decide consciously that the record would be about this, but um, the more I uh, collected songs, the more I realized that there is an underlying theme in my recent work, and it has to do with looking at the world and looking at the trouble in the world and wanting to say something about that, wanting to um, encourage myself and encourage people who listen to have a heart because I think this is what's needed more than anything else. The beggar on the road could be you, could be me. Um, everybody has a story. I try to tell some of those stories. Have mercy, mercy, mercy. Have mercy. Musicians have a, uh, an interesting perspective. They travel around if they are able to uh, make a career like myself, and they see lo lots of different people in many different places in the world. And the one thing you realize is, one, that we are more alike than dissimilar. We are more the same. Uh, but you also notice that uh, there are many groups who have a conflict with another group. This you see everywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in Europe, you're in Africa, uh, the States. You, you see that there is um, conflict. So uh, many musicians would like to see their music being some kind of uh, balsam, some kind of uh, healing agent to help bring about some harmony, because that's what music is about, harmony. I would love to see people uh, put away the feeling of revenge, because it only leads to more suffering. I would like to see people decide collectively to uh, forgive. As you say, there is always a reason to be angry at somebody else. but. Um, it leads nowhere good. So if everybody has a good reason to fight, then I think everybody could also find a good reason to forgive. I met Glenn Scott about, um, oh, maybe uh, 12 years ago. It could be that long. Yes, I was living in England. He was living in London at that time. Um, I think another musician said, oh, you should meet this guy, Glenn Scott. He's a wonderful producer, musician, singer, player. Uh, I said, okay. And uh, I discovered uh, a kindred soul, somebody who really uh, appreciates music in a very similar way than I do. And I thought, wow, I would love to work with this guy, you know. Well, uh, I think I understand Eric's music quite well. Um, uh, I come from a tradition of, of gospel. Um, gospel music sort of encompasses quite a lot of different styles and genres of, of music. Um, especially when you're talking about sort of black heritage, you know, within music. So um, Eric is rich within all those sort of uh, areas of, of and genres of music, you know. Um, and I and I get it. I strongly get it. You know, it resonates with a huge part of my musicality and spirit, um, and where my parents come from and grandparents come from, and where I am today. Why? Let us 
I discovered um, a wonderful, um, multi-talented uh, instrumentalist, singer, producer, great engineer, great producer, sort of uh, all-in-one kind of guy, you know. Eric is every producer's dream. Um, Eric is a one-take musician and artist, and usually that take is a golden one, I think. He is uh, an amazing musician, and vocalist, and songwriter, and it just makes everything so so easy. You know. I don't know whether I make Eric's music more accessible to young people. Um, but when I think of Eric's music, I think uh, there's so many influences in the music um, that I like to kind of endorse what already exists there, just make it shine and resonate a bit more than it actually does. So if that means you bring a, an electronic element into a song that's acoustic um, from, from its origin, then, you know, we, we go with that. Um, it's normally, uh, normally works because I think Eric's so complete. So what, what comes in needs to endorse what's already there. We pause in the well, the very air we breathe, living in a man-made hell, time to let the women lead. What do I like uh, with Eric Boo's music? Uh, well, there are many ingredients, I think, uh, that I can think of. But if I had to narrow it down to one thing, I think it's the, the soul uh, of Eric's music that I think is extremely unique and special for me. Yeah. We've made several CDs together, and uh, I think this one, I think, might be the best. Oh,